So all of a sudden, we aren't making as much money as we were before. How do we figure out how to fix that quick? That's what we're here to talk about today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Neil Winteregg with Matterhorn Business Development. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and be sure you stick around and watch some of our other content about business. So today I am here to talk to you about what do you do if sales are slow? Now I'm gonna talk about it from two perspectives. One, as an individual salesperson, what I do, and two, what you would do as a business owner or an executive of a business that has a product that you sell, what do you do if sales are slow? So as an individual salesman, what I always do when things are slow is I look back through all of my previous contacts with people for the last three to six months usually. Now, I usually have all my information in Excel spreadsheets or in lead flyers or interview forms from when I've actually met with prospects and filled in all the information about them or about the product that they want. And I usually keep that kind of stuff. And it lets me have all of the information I need on that person right at my fingertips so that I can easily look through all of the past prospects I've spoken to. So I'll take a huge stack of these or I'll go through my, my lineups and my grids of people and I just start clicking through and saying, okay, this person said no, they wanted to talk to another company then I never heard back, I'm gonna call them. And I'm gonna say, hey, we met a month or so ago, you had said that you were gonna get some other quotes, I never heard back from you, I wanted to see if I could still help you and I just systematically start calling every person that I spoke to that wasn't a jerk or a one-star person that you decided to write off because you should not call those people. And I start going through all my previous prospects, anybody I've talked to in several months, and I start looking around and finding out if there's a way to reopen the negotiation or the sales process with them and see if there's a way to rejuvenate or put life back into that sale. So like I said, I will have stacks of these or I will have a whole grid in my computer of everybody that I've talked to and I just start going through them all and figuring out ways to do something for that person. So this person was having work done on their house, they wanted to wait, so I'm gonna call them and say, hey, just so you know, I know a contractor who might be able to help you out with your house. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just simply putting them in touch with another person, but it's an excuse for me to call them and to start talking to them and then say, hey, what about that other thing with the house? Have you thought about that anymore? It's a way to get back into communication with them about that sale in a sort of indirect route. So I'm gonna take a different approach to talk to them about it. So as an individual salesperson, you have to go through all of your lists, all of your lineups, all of your leads, everybody that you've talked to and start figuring out where you can find or rejuvenate new life into something. The other thing that you do is get in touch with your most recent customers, the people that you recently sold something to that are happy with the product, let them know that you would love to service their friends and family the same way. Do they know of anybody that might be interested that you could reach out to? So you're here prospecting for referrals from your previous happy customers. So basically, when sales are slow as an individual, you can't sit around and wait. You have to use all of your resources that you have to start generating interest and going back through everybody that you've spoken to and figure out if there's a way to rejuvenate it. Now, as a business owner, you have a couple of things that you have to do. So you look around and you realize not enough money's coming in, the sales guys seem to be really busy but they're not closing anybody, et cetera, et cetera. You have to start doing an investigation and actually looking into what is the cause that things are slow. Did the sales guys screw up and just stop closing people? Did we make changes? that are causing things to happen? Did we do some sort of a price increase or a price decrease that is all of a sudden throwing things off? Is the promotion actually going out? Are things actually working? What's funny is with promotion is it's usually on automatic for a lot of companies and so we just automatically assume, hey, we're not getting leads anymore. Oh shoot. Well, did we pay the SEO company? Sometimes you find out that they didn't get the last bill and so therefore they turned off the SEO until you actually pay them and you don't even know that. So you have to look into all the different aspects of that from a sales perspective, what's going on, from a marketing perspective, what's going on and look for anything that changed 
Because what happens a lot of times is we say, yeah, look, we changed these ads and now we're getting all of these leads. And the sales guys are like, these people aren't even interested in the product. They want something completely else. So we have leads coming in twice as many as before, but then we're selling half as many of them. Well, go back to doing the marketing campaign that was actually working to bring the higher quality leads in that got you more sales. So as an executive or a CEO, you have to investigate every aspect and find changes. That's all you're looking for. What changed between last month and this month when we had a great month of income and now we don't? Because it's never the weather, it's never the guy across the street started doing a sale on the same product and so now we're not selling. Something changed internally that created the sales to slow down. And all an executive does, or a manager, or a vice president, or a CEO, all they look for is what changed that caused that to happen, okay? So that's what your job is to figure out how to fix it, is where did the change occur, get rid of the change, go back to what was working, get the sales guys happy again, and the money starts to flood in. So these are a couple of my tips for you, and uh, be sure you check out down below to figure out how you'd like to work with us, whether it's through our YouTube membership program or our Adventure to Profit program. There's information down below, but I will see you next time.